What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is having an awesome day. An awesome, awesome day. First thing, we got two things on the docket real quick. I want to give a huge shout out to Virtual Farmer and Bullet Bill for the kind words in stream yesterday. I was hanging out with Virtual Farmer in his stream uh, yesterday, which was Tuesday, uh, February 19th. Yes. And uh, man, but such a nice guy, such nice things to say. And uh, Bullet Bill was in there, and, and he had some nice things to say as well. So I want to take just a quick second and say thank you to both of you guys. Uh, if you watch, if you don't, either way, if you guys know them, send some, send some kind words their way. Uh, very, very good things to say. So on to the next thing. We ran into some issues yesterday. Big issues, because we couldn't get across here. And that's a problem for me, because I like doing things the wrong way. What are we going to do about that? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do about that, because I've already done it. I may, may have found some money, and today, at least for this portion, is the only time that we are going to be using this for evil. <laughs> the $81 million we have right now, not going to stay. We're coming over here to landscape. Because, well, you mean the terrain can't be too... Huh? C please? <laughs> um so we can't build a bridge hang hang on I got I got an idea haha -ha! it says we can be stopped but we cannot oh no, I'm kidding we can do it so we are planning on doing about right through here. Because I want to create... The only thing is I can't get rid of this shrubbery right here. Which is fine. We can drive through it. It's okay. I want to create a road that goes straight through here. Over the pond. And then kind of in through here. Like a road. Like make it an actual road. So first thing we need to do is we need to build our bridge. So we're going to come through here. And I think we're going to build straight across. So the way we're going to go about this is we're going to raise the ground from the sides. So we're going to raise this ground and head straight across. Raise it just a little bit. And now that we have it raised, what we're going to do is just simply go across with that uh, kind of like oh, right bumper. <laughs> I can't really tell you what button that is. It's a, I think it's just flattened land. There we go. Now we have a bridge. R roughly, roughly, rough, we have a rough bridge. <laughs> so we got this. Of course, we can't rotate that any. So we're going to have to come in through here and try and find a way to make this a kind of as straight as possible. Unfortunately, there's little bumps that are going to happen like that. And I don't want there to be. I want it to be completely straight across. So, we don't want to get too close. I am holding the right bumper down if you guys are on console. Come on. Nice and easy. Don't do anything crazy. No need to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Close enough. <laughs> and over here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to rock across. And this seems to be... We just got to make it right there. Bam! Perfect. That looks really good. So we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're just going to follow along. Try and get that exactly the same. Continuity. Continuity is what we're looking for here. Now, we can go through and we can paint it. So let's take a look and see what this ground is. Is it this? That is not it at all. What about this? Is this it? Is that dirt? Looks like dirt. That's more of a concrete kind of thing. Let's see. What about that? That's not it. That's definitely not it. Nope. I think we found it. Is this it? That's it. Okay. So now we just have to find our way over there. And again, I want to go about as straight as we possibly can. Rolling through. Here we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I've eh, got a little off track there. Nothing too 
Nothing too wild. Perfect. And then I want to leave this kind of alone. I like the grass that's growing up through here. It makes it seem like, you know, that was kind of put away, but this was added later, which it was. We just added it. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go through here. Let's just kind of make this look neat and and organized and not uh, not so chaosy as we tend to do. Now that we've got it looking good, looking nice, it is super fly. We need to add some trees. Now one thing, I need to make sure I've got the tree pack added. Yes, we have the more trees pack added. We also have the lizard tree pack added, which is great. So let's take a look at trees that we've got around here. I believe we've got some birch. Yeah, and uh, most of the birch are kind of pushed down in to make them look good. And we got, what are these, pine? Pine trees? Something like that. So a mix of both. So we're going to stand right here dead center. And let's start with the birch trees. Now, I don't know which ones are going to be too big, which ones are going to be too small. Just right. All that good stuff. We're just going to kind of place down and hope it <laughs> looks decent, I guess. Let's see. Those look to be a little too small for the area. Try something like this. Stick this about right here. That seems to be more appropriate for what's going on around here. Let's get a larger birch tree. Maybe put it right here. Kind of just randomly throughout. A couple here, a couple there. Bam. And one there. Something like that. Maybe one or two over here. I want to give it that look and feel of, hey... This way, over here. Let's throw in a couple maple trees. Just give it a, uh, give it some home hominess. All right there, right here. Uh, that one might be a little bit too close. Um, we're gonna, yeah, that one's got to go. What I've done is I've gone in and, well, I did a game save, so I'm trying to make sure that we're not interfering with anything that's going on. So we've got all that good. I do want to go in here and throw a couple of the uh, these trees in as well. So these are like dead. I give it just a little bit extra color, a bit of depth, that kind of thing. Let's throw in a couple pine trees right next to each other since these things like to grow on top of each other. There you go. There's uh, one or two of those, maybe one or two beside each other here. Let's throw in some smaller ones. Uh, ooh, there's a little bunch of them right there. Let's throw in a couple here. Just kind of make it look, try anyway, to make it look like these are supposed to be here. I don't think I'm doing a very good job. <laughs> but, hey, it is what it is. Let's throw a couple, uh, was he, poplars? Throw a couple of these in here. Just to kind of show like, hey, you know, we're we're here. Pop of these, maybe a little, little trifecta of these right there, right there. They look to me like everything's kind of spread out almost. Spruce, let's throw a couple of these. Bam, bam, bam. I may be adding too many trees here, but I, don't know, I just wanted to, wanted to give it something. Just that extra something, something. Bam, bam, bam. And then... Let's see. Let's go back through. Let's find something else. Maybe one of these. Others look. Eh, looks good enough. Nothing wrong with that. A couple tall trees. Again, want to give it that feeling of it's supposed to be there. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of that. But nonetheless, we're still trying. There we go. Let's take a look at the area around. 
So there's a lot of openness, but I think for the most part, not awful. Let's just throw that there and there. Let's take a look. We have spent quite a bit of money. Hopefully we don't get too many frame drops rolling through. I did want to leave the sides exposed. That way if something were to happen, you will fly right off. That's what I'm talking about. Right across into the cell point. Yes. Now, if you guys know of any way to remove those hedges, let me know. I would love to do that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm trying to stay out of Giants Editor to do it. Because if I do that, I'm afraid that we may not be able to invite anyone to come see our farm. Because we would have to send them a totally different file. So, what do you think? Too much? Not enough? Looks good? Looks bad? It's going to save us a lot of time. That's the important part here. So, my next question is, can we sell this area? Well, you can't sell this land? While you still own placeable objects on it, you have to sell the objects first. Are the trees down as placeable objects? No, there's no way. Holy cow, look at that. So if we do trees, we would have to... We would have to completely delete all these. Just to get rid of that area by owning it. Hmm... Because I we don't really own this area. I haven't earned that, but I wanted to edit it. You know what? We will just leave it as is, and we will continue to own it. That is totally fine with me. Uh, let's see. Let's sell that, because we don't need all the land around. Eh, I'm okay owning this. That's all right. Totally cool with me. So let's jump in, get a little farming done today. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. No, 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 no. <laughs> What happened? So what happened was I was pulling it, right? I was pulling it. And and uh what is going on? <laughs> I was pulling it. And then all of a sudden I accidentally hit the uh the fold button. Look. And and now I folded. And now I'm I'm unfolded. Now I've got it selected again. And I'm trying to fold it, but it won't work. So watch this. I'm going to hit circle. What? What? What is going on? This is wrong, man. It's, it's not right. <laughs> None of this is correct. So, <laughs> so we're just dragging it along. And then we select it and click fold. And all of a sudden, boop. Back to normal. How? How does that happen? What is going on? Either way, I don't know. I don't care. It's kind of funny. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so if you guys want to do that, just drive it along. Do, do, do. Hit circle. And it goes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and all you got to do is select it and fold it back up. And it, bam, returns to normal. How odd is that? That seems just way, way, I uh, don't understand. What we have got to do is because we have a whole field of grass here. Yes, we do. We're not doing a whole bunch of grass work right now. And we've got to get up these soybeans anyway. So one thing that I'm thinking about doing is taking this entire field and making it a crop. So with grass, of course, we could plant it. Uh, if we wanted it back. Of course, we're going to have to need grass again. But the good thing is, if you take a look over here, in storage, we have 577,000 liters of silage, 621,000 liters of hay, and 508 liters of straw. We don't need grass. We don't need straw. We have plenty. Speaking of straw, we've got to go pick some up later on. So we're good with grass. We're good with straw. And so I'm thinking, like, just, there's only two other crops other than corn. So it's... Do we want to take this field and turn it into like a cornfield, which we easily could. We could do a cotton field, but renting and getting equipment for cotton is going to be very expensive. To do corn, we will need to cultivate this. We will need to cultivate it in, and we will need to come back through and get a uh, 
get a planter on it. We could probably handle that, no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's going to be getting the equipment in here. That's going to be the problem. I think we can do it. I think we're going to have enough uh, oomph, <laughs> as it were, to do it. One thing, we can take a look and see what we've got going on. Of course, we've got to get over and get that straw up. Let's take a look. So, four cultivators. We did get a new one. I don't think I've got it installed yet. Um, it seems that the Swifter has been working pretty well with the tractor that we have now, which has 500 horsepower. The Cruiser didn't work as well. And I think the flex coil is so large that we can't physically get it in here. We can try, but I don't think we can get it in here. And then, of course, if we wanted to go big, I mean, really go big, we could get ourselves one of these. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Problem with that, I don't think it'll fit. And nor will that. We could try to, you know, Get something large like that to make it work quick but i don't think that we're going to be able to get a flexicoil in here and get it moved around i'm not even sure the bednar is going to fit Whew. guess there's only one way to try isn't it one thing i do want to do before we go any further we're going to slow it down here for a second let's drop it right there we did get the bednar uh we're gonna we're gonna put some big old tires on here wait for it Wait for it. Wait for it. Customize. Sun, main color. We'll set up. Oh. Boom, baby. Customize. You. <laughs> we got the holes, baby. Yaya. Yeah. Let's back this up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I figured duels would be the best, especially for pulling something like this. The more uh, more surface area we've got on the ground, the more that we can grip and go. And furthermore, as long as this fits, everything else fits. Hey, our pig food's here. Uh, we got an, a, another 59,000 liter order of pig food from the store, and it looks like it is here and ready to go. So we'll have to make sure we take that over to our pigs. They are not running out of food per se. Uh, they're hungry. <laughs> That's what's going on. Let's get this out. Oh, 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 don't cut. Yeah, yeah, we caught it. So let's take that and drop it down. Now, I have mentioned before, and I will mention again, this is one of my favorite cultivators in game because it sits really close to the tractor and it is very large. So let's drop it down. And because it is a cultivator and not a uh, disc harrow, or not disc harrow, what is that called? Yeah, disc harrow, we can fast farm with it. So. What we've done is we've dropped it, and then we just double tapped X very, very quickly, or, or A rather, on our controller. Here we go. And this one, not going to be too crazy difficult. All we got to do is follow the line. And I think I know exactly where the line is, for the most part anyway. Yep, there it is. So we're going to stay close to the edge, at least on this first pass. Let's go ahead and stick cruise control on. We're having a tough time getting up through here, but it is working. And again, I love this custom soil texture from Oxygen David. Much, much love to you. It looks really good. Let's go. <laughs> Cultivating is done, and the baby piggies are about to be happy because we got a whole lot more pig food for them. Oh yeah, 59,000 more liters. 
This should top them off, if not be a little bit too much. Nonetheless, I still want to make sure we have enough food to get by. Pigs only take, well, I say pigs only take one thing. Pigs take everything. Let's get it unloaded. Make sure it's good. It is good. Let's double check it, make sure the numbers are going up, just in case, for whatever reason. The numbers are going up, and we are going to have, I believe, we're going to have too much? Nope, numbers are still going up. The corn numbers are not, but everything else is. There we go. Bam. Awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, two things we've learned today. One, if you have too much going on with pig food. Well, that's not going to shut, is it? Nope. We need to shut that on our own. Uh, one thing with pig food is if you give them too much, it'll just keep refilling the other areas. Please, please shut. <laughs> and two... Out of the tree mods that we've gotten, the real tree mod, right here, or more trees rather, these, at least from what I've seen, cannot be deleted. However, the lizard trees can be deleted because, I don't know if I mentioned it a few seconds ago, if I did, nah, you, <laughs> tell me not, I sold field 20, but we still have trees everywhere on field 20. So there you go. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, you know what button to hit. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section, as well as any ideas that you have. I would love to hear what you guys have to say down there. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.